welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ark it youtube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel i love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ark it youtube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address a ravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below so in order to do the nas what i'm going to do i do not have any nas storage here i'm converting one of the servers to the nfs storage so let's say i install the nfs utility on that linux box and uh, i create the partition over there and uh, export that with the nfs so that i can access that nfs share and mount on the proxmox uh, cluster so let's see so i'm going to install the nfs utilities on this box and it takes a little time so based on your internet connectivity it might be faster it might be slower okay you can see that so it takes maybe a 40 kbps on this virtual machine so it's crazy okay so let's see how much it times takes and uh, um, install these packages so it might be quicker whenever it's uh, downloaded it's uh, database uh, from the m repository and it install the dependent packages all of them so that it makes the nfs utilities works so okay, you can see so it's a lot quicker to install the packages now you can see nfs utils and its uh, dependents getting installed So the package is installation successful. Now let's uh, clear the screen and uh, enable and start the NFS server service. Now enable system CTL, enable NFS dash server. And if, uh, enable nfs dash server and uh, start the servers and here we have the security uh, that firewall and uh, se linux so i don't want to take any uh, security stuff here so i just uh, disabling the se linux and the firewall uh, service so that it makes me more clear and the access of the nfs share but if it is a production machine so i don't recommend to stop it so you have to apply the slns context on that particular folder to export it and um, make the firewall rule enabled so that you can access the nfs so i'm stopping the firewall here and i disable the slnx so after that what i'm going to do is that to take the effect of the uh, slnx so i'm just powering off the machine and uh, bringing online so that uh, the SLNX policy will be reconstructed and applied on the virtual machine. So here power off the virtual machine and there is one more reason is that I am going to add the hard drive to the virtual machine so that uh, I can make that uh, virtual uh, hard drive to be used as a uh, NFS export. Okay now virtual machine is down so let's edit the settings and I am going to add the new hard drive here. Okay and say hard drive and next and next and next and say select M nvme and the store is in single path and maybe you can add uh, 10 gb in size that might be more than enough for me for uh, to 
host the virtual machine or maybe you can put it 100 GB or 50 GB based on your disk size available on your computer but it should be at least minimum 10 GB so that you can host one virtual machine or one container so that uh, it would be easy for your practice okay so I have added the uh, one hard drive here so let's power on the virtual machine let's say it's yes here so because ID one is not accessible something like that so there is error on the ID here so we have to remove that to avoid that error so let's switch on the virtual machine so now we can log in back to the server and create the LVM and export that LVM to the NFS share so now open the putty session here and uh, type the IP address of that particular virtual machine here and log into the uh, virtual machine so that it will be easy to copy paste the commands or type easier on the terminal size so that uh, I'm doing F disk F and L you can see that there is a new disk is available here the 50 GB I have added uh, now let's go ahead and F disk and create the new partition on this say N P is a primary one and enter 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 so that it will create the partition you can see that by pressing the P that and convert that to the 8E the Linux LVM and save and exit from that and uh, run the part probe and update that uh, uh, data partition to the kernel saying that I have created the partition after that you can just type F disk F and L on the disk path so that you can see there is a partition is created on that so now convert that partition to the PV I can see that PV create and again VG create and provide the VG name here and provide the PV name so that it will create the um, virtual uh, VG the virtual group the VG group so now create the LVM so I say uh, LVM name is LV1 and the I'm going to use 100% free space uh, which is iPhone L 100% free and say VG name here so it will create the LVM with the complete free space now we can see LV1 is created and make the part file system on that to mount it so I'm using ext4 you can use XFS or any other file system okay now it is ready to mount so let's edit the FS staff file and add the entry so that it will be permanent mount uh, on the server so you don't need to again remount it whenever the server is reported vi slash etc fs tab and go back all the way down and edit this file and add the path slash dv slash vg0 slash lv1 this is our lvm path and mention the file system is ext4 which we used actually we formatted this lv with the ext4 and where you want to mount it which is slash data ext4 and I'm using defaults and 00, zero. let's say save this and before that you have to create the directory here but I did not create it so it's given the error saying that is there's no directory uh, mkdir slash data and now again type mount type an av you can see it's just successfully mounted just type dpf and h and see that whether it is mounted or not now what we have to do is that we have to create the export the export policy to export that data partition using the ex export so I'm giving the triple seven permission so I don't want to face any permission issues on this other side okay maybe you can change the ownership to the NFS nobody so that you will get more uh, permission levels so that is the NFS nobody is the default service account for the NFS NFS nobody and you can maybe add root here so there is a group name I can see so it is actually owned by the NFS nobody and it has triple seven permissions here so we I slash etc exports this is the configuration file for the NFS export and add the path which you want to export and add the IP address at the 
subnet mask complete a network name so that uh, which network you want to export it so that those hosts can only have the access to mount it so i'm exporting to 192.168.29.0 slash 24 so all the 254 ips can mount this nfs export so i'm saving this now let's say export fs iphone AVR so that it will give you the exported data so that it's properly exported or not export fs iphone AVR so it gives the data so here you can see that it's actually not exported properly but i'm just trying to mount the same on the um, proxmos cluster see what is the error i will get so let's go back to the proxmox cluster and try to mount this nfs path so here i am on the proxmox cluster i am going heading to the storage and say nfs here and nfs and provide the id id means uh, whatever the name you would like to call it as i say data and provide the nfs server name here so the nas storage name here ip address are the name if you have dns properly working then uh, export name so which is to be slash data and say add so let's see what is the error uh, i should get here after clicking add okay so maybe you can select the what type of the data you wanted to store on that nfs and you can select all of them and say add here i'm selecting almost everything you can see here this is the error i'm getting because uh, the export is not properly exported so i have to change the nfs settings in order to export that so go back to the nfs server and uh, correct that so that we can able to export that let's see uh, i'm trying to do some changes here but it does not work because the nfs is not properly exported let's go back to the nfs server And here, uh, after I did the slash, slash etc exports and change this configuration here. So I don't want sync here. Maybe there is a space on the export. So which, that's why this giving the error is that no option for data suggested something like that. Okay, to avoid. But there is actually a space in between the IP address and the uh, permission so just make that there is no space and now to save the settings and try to export it now you can see it's exported now you go back and say add the nfs storage is added to the cluster so whenever you add the storage uh, say the storage to the cluster by default it will mount to the all the nodes within the cluster you can see here so whenever you click on the host name you can see that there is a data is available uh, on the storage here and if you click on the pve2 also you can also see that the data is available the data store the data store name is data is available on the both the nodes so what you can do is that the shared storage will give you the flexibility to migrate the virtual machines from um, one node to the another node easily okay and ha also works on this uh, high availability pair also work on the shared storage only not the local storage for more updates click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications